Do we want to play uh, first? Um, well, uh, probably. Here, on the other hand, man, the last time we, last time we said no on every single time, we did win. I kind of think no. Like, you think? I think we could use are the we slower extra card. We have a lot of stuff in that early game. Though. You know, it would allow us to aggressively mulligan if we said no and drew first. That's true. We're going to say no. All right. All right. We're cracking open more booze. And see, we're being rewarded. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Um, not great, no. but pretty good. And that means turn two, if we get a third land, turn three, we can... Yeah. Rusted Relic or Chrome Steed. Um, Chrome, no, obviously Chrome Steed, because Rusted Relic would do us no good at all. On its own, but the next turn when we played the Chrome Steed... Then it would be out, and it would be a 5-5. Five five. Right. True. You want to turn down the sound so that it's not quite as uh, soundy? Yes. So we don't get that weird reverb effect that we sometimes get. Oh. Man, holy green, no less. Yeah. Wow. The magic gods like when we when we say he's no. Gonna, he's gonna go blue, black, in fact. No, black, red. Ooh, nice. Black, red. So aggro? he was the guy who was playing red because no one else was. And so depending on what kind of threat, or if he, he has a threat, out. yeah. We can either go Rusted Relic or we could go Pierce Strider. Right. But the thing is, if you, know, if you put out the Rusted Relic right away, he's got some burn, we could be hosed. Right. He, But he would have to have, like, a Shatter. Right. Because burn is not going to get to five, and we don't have to make him susceptible yet. Like, we could put out the Accorder Shield and make him a creature. Sure. Well, we can also and do that if he was infecting and had Black Cleave Goblin, then he would have a Hasted. Yeah, and he'd do two points of infect. Right. Yeah, I'm just saying, but I'm saying we're close. I, I don't want. I still want to lose this may, three critters. Yeah, Man, this may uh, in fact be the best Metalcraft deck we've ever put together. It might be the only Metalcraft deck we've no, ever. No, we, we've tried one times. for one. We have numerous. You know, oh, that yeah. mother. It's an artifact. Whatever. We can revoke it. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Whatever. <laughs> wow, George. Okay. The fans are right. So, do we revoke it right away? Yes, we don't. Yeah, we don't F around. Don't want to give him a single chance to do something yep. with that. And we have enough to cast our quarter shield. Oh, boy. Do we want to equip it? Yeah. Can we? Isn't it three? Oh, we can do it with that. Yeah. Right. Cool. We could use that, or we could save that. It pops off. I don't know about using well, it. Well, I mean... It doesn't do... Okay, in this instance, it would keep him standing. I don't... Is it worth it? Because he'll just turn... Right. My, my fear is turn off. to slag. Yeah, just leave it off. There's no reason. Yeah. I mean, if he's got turn to slag... He'll. I, he has nothing out there. I know it's not the most effective use of our right. mana, but I'm thinking we're going to want to use that for. Hey, that's what I'm thinking too. Splicer. We need it for the beef, and that's the whole reason it's there. And it's quite possible he just has nothing. Mm -hmm. I would have to count that as nothing, all in all. Especially with that. Um, but for long term, we probably want to get out a creature since we only... So you want the Chrome Steed? I think Chrome Steed. Yep. Um, okay, there's an argument that you would not want to play it before because he could act of aggression. There's an argument that you would want to play it before because if he has any sort of shatter effect... He could make our rusted relic not able to attack. If he had a shatter effect, I think he would have used it already. Yep. So, he's he's just got chump block anyway. Yeah. I still kind of like like leeching, biting the guy and running in. And now that we've tapped mana, he probably thinks he has some sort of trick, so he'll dump his hand. 
He does have a shatter. He does. But he's using it on what he would have used it on anyway. Right. Absolutely right. And we didn't allow him to do some sort of shenanigans with... Um, <laughs> shenanigans? Active aggression. Now, I know you don't want to entirely play around a card. Right. But the fact that he was playing Rage Extractor tells me he has... Pyrex and Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, black, red, Frixy Mouth, that's not good for us. Yeah. Okay. What's that one? Um, Vital Splicer. Regeneration oh, for neat. your gnomes. Oh, neat. Down to 13. Yep. Swing in. Jump! Or he'll do something Or else. burn. Love it. Dismember. Okay. And we can't leeching bite him up to victory. Okay. So we just have to let him die. But we can... Pure Strider? Pure Strider or Vital Splicer. He's wasted a lot of burn already. Yeah, I think we Vital Splicer yeah. because it gets four um, power on the board. If he, depending on how he plays it, I wouldn't be against Leeching Bite so that this guy could be a plus two... And like not right. trade, sure. or put you a quarter shield on the splicer to keep it alive. Yeah. Too bad we can't turn him into a golem. Yeah, there needs to be some sort of you know. Isn't there a conversion chamber? Or Lick, something? Liquid golem going. <laughs> yeah, it co codes you in <laughs> liquid metal. <laughs> um, I. Might be just greedy with this leeching bite, but I want to get more than just killing that guy. Okay. So I say we attack with the golem. Yep. And then we can cast the Pierce Strider. And we will still have the ability to pass to, to, bite. to leeching bite if we something Oh, that's arises. nasty. Yep. That is Three more nasty. Lives. Yeah, we're in. Who drafted this? <laughs> well, I think this guy got kind of hosed with his hand. Next thing you know, I'll be drafting counter spells. Yeah, this guy did get a ton yeah, of land. Nothing but. Because okay. you have to figure he's probably got a fast, pretty fast deck that just didn't turn out. So. Oh gosh, it's Carabas for Do we believe he has something in hand? No. Could he I mean I mean he might have an still infection or something. Yeah, what I'm thinking is I can leeching bite right now. Yeah, and kill his critter and swing it. Oh yeah, and yeah. if he just doesn't do have anything he dies. Yeah, yeah, just do it. He made his concede right there. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Love it. Okay. Okay, well, thank you for getting Twitch Man <laughs> giving us a chance. Yeah. I do feel bad for the guy because. Uh, no. He he's got nothing that we need to worry about. Yeah. Certainly didn't show it that time. Nope. A uh, rage extractor could be a concern. Yeah, if we don't get the. Um, it just makes me wonder how much you could have possibly drafted drafted in one pack right. to justify that Rage Extractor. Well, it's one of those things where, oh, you read on the website, oh, that's good. You know, I mean, yeah. how, much, how much shit did we take for not taking the Phyrexian right. Rage Extractor or whatever in the triple Phyrexian around? Good, right. Just because we didn't know any better. Right. You know? That's true. And so he, he may have read stuff like that yep. and said, and says, no matter oh, what, it's a pick. Yeah. And who knows, it could pay off here. Maybe he picked like 75. Mm -hmm. I'm stretching a little yeah. bit there. But even if he had like five others. Yeah. I think somewhere around that number, it starts to be worth it. Right. Okay. Um, Throw the sphere. We could put out the sphere. We could put out the suture priest. Oh, that's not bad either. To start gaining life, losing. We could put out the forger. That would be our aggro play. Uh, I think early on, I think we're going to put up the Suja Priest. He may waste burn on that. 
And if not, then he's going to lose life. And we'll get, I mean, I, yeah. just, I don't see a lose-lose there. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah. I think we have a decent late game. And... Mm -hmm. Hey, sweet. Sutra Breeze. Yeah, we have a pretty good start. Yeah. I have a couple extra uh, mana sources. I like that they've added that you can always yes. Not only right. auto yield, but also yeah, always yes. That's huge. <laughs> Why would I ever not want to do this? Yeah. Okay. I always say yes anyway. Um, so here... That's how I got married. <laughs> here we could... Forger. Okay. Or Pristine Talisman. Or Pristine Talisman. Well, he's do he does have a shatter. Is would would he shatter that talisman? I don't think he would. And it, I think we forger because right. four going to five does not really benefit us next turn. And get, at least get another critter on the board. Yeah, force yeah, him, force him to the do board. something. We need to force him to make a mistake. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was tonight, theoretically. Uh, roar, roar, roar. <laughs> so that would be three tonight. <laughs> Called us out. I feel like a famous uh, gunfighter. <laughs> because three people have talked to you in the 24 hour period? <laughs> yes. Well, it's more than usual. Yeah, you're famous, buddy. <laughs> rawr, 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 rawr. Yep. Actually, technically, his name would be rawr, rawr. the the reason why I was thinking the uh, talisman uh -huh. uh, was just because it would reduce the amount of damage we were taking effectively. We could just always be gaining one life. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. the longer it's out, the the more it does. The what? Really? A prototype portal? What does it even do? Well, it can be boss. Yeah. Depending it can on also be what artifact he puts behind it, and we do not have an answer. So he's going to have as many rust ticks as he wants. Is that bad? Yes. It's not good. There are one three that can tap all of our artifacts down. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. We have nothing but artifacts. Um, we can copy... Is rusting. So we, co does it, does we copy. To, does he have to? We tap? copy his prototype portal. But we don't have any good artifact. But if we have as many pristine it. talismans as we want, we just gain infinite life. <laughs> Is that how that works? An interesting argument. <laughs> so That's yes. a lot of mana. Um, and then we deck him. <laughs> and by that we mean we find him and we punch him in the face. Yeah, I'm not against it. No, I think... Cat's freaking me out. I think we pristine talisman. Sure. See what it draws? And... I don't know. We probably don't care if it's Forger. No. Because it's going to be a 4-4 four, four next turn. Right. And it's something that his rest tick can't tick. Yeah, you know, the interesting thing is he may just... He may lock down our... Talisman, so we can't gain life. Well, yeah. we, we and I have, think that's a fine, fine use for the rust tick. We have a remote existence, so we do have an answer to it. Yes, that's true. It's just we it's need in it there. now. Yeah, it's just going to take a while to get to it. Right. Um, and we are going to get mall splice oh, soon next yeah. turn. Um, if we do this, what would I want to copy? Mall splicer. Mm, oh, so I probably don't yeah. want to cast it. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good call. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't think about yeah. that. I was just wanting to get him to Metalcraft, but that's a... A smart play? A short-sighted... <laughs> now, the advantage with our Sutra Priest... Is every is, time he does, he loses life. Yeah. Oh. So we're going to gain a life every time he uses that No, we gain it. life when we cast a creature. So we'll gain, like... He'd lose six oh, lives when we put out those he's two gonna, creatures. He's literally going to rust tick himself to death. Right. We could 
copy our suture priest, mm -hmm. and he would lose two life every Got time he did it. Uh, I, I think I the mall splicer is the way to go. Mall splicer is probably more brutal. Okay. The problem is his rust tick is probably going to tap one of our artifacts, so we sure. might not be able to mall splicer next turn. Well, except it has to get over its summoning sickness. Right, but he's going to cast it at the end of his turn. Right. Well, we'll see what happens. Yeah, that will shape what we do. Yep. Sure. Yeah, no. We... I've got a rest tick token. So you're saying copy the suture priest? It it's an option. I don't know if it's the best option. Um, yeah, it would decrease the number of rest ticks he would be willing to make. However, I don't think it's going to take a whole lot of rest ticks to shut us down. Yeah, to put us in a bad place. Okay. Well, he's going to let us... I didn't tap that at the end, so we're one life behind where we should be. Uh, oh, well. Uh, you know, it's one of those things. It's hard to remember that shit. You know, it's, it's a nitpicky thing, you know? It is. The good thing is, this guy's now going to be metal crafting. Right. Since we get two artifacts with him. And thus, we don't. Okay, guess verdict. I would probably think. kill the suture priest. You think? You don't think maybe the I think a four four is going to be a lot yeah, because okay. I agree. I agree. More relevant. Um I mean I would have liked to gain the life and I would have liked to hurt him. Yeah. And what does they remember the fallen do for us? Uh it lets us pull something out of the graveyard. Oh, yeah. Like a Suture Priest. And what's the and or ability? Uh, one artifact and one creature. There you go. Okay, so now he's probably going to tap down our golems with his rust. Tick. Sure. Be the... And then he'll just block with his blister grub. Well, he could block. He probably, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure what I, they're going I think he's going to get to the point where he starts blocking with his rust tick. Sure. Just chumping and... Till he, till he finds a bomb. Yeah. It's just buying time. So, um, we could hmm. metamorph the mall splicer. But is that just play? Is that fast enough? And that would get us three more. We could metamorph. Well, but it's an artifact. That's a problem with it. Right. It does it, but it's an artifact. So making it a carapace forger, it still is going to be able to tap down. Right. Making it that is going to mean he has to get two more rest ticks out yep. to tap down. So that is probably the best play. Oof. Now, before we do any of that, let's see what he does. Predictal. Should I attack with the mall splicer and am I willing to leech and bite to get rid of that guy? Yes. You think? Yeah. We have the trample on our golems, our four golems, and we won't be able to copy it because it'll be dead. Huh? Remember? We're, we're copying the thing right. with our... No, I was going to leech and bite, so he'd be a 2-2 two -two and he'd be a 1-1. One -one. Oh, okay. Never mind. Now, there may be shenanigans in his hand. Shenanigans. Do, 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 do. Oh, we will wait and see. That's shenanigans. That's shenanigans. Yes, it is. It is. Okay. So, we have to use it on him. We could have gone the other way, then that one would have died, ours wouldn't have, or it doesn't matter, ours is a 4-4. Never you mind. Right. Our guy isn't dying. We Both lost two guys out there. Are. Uh, and we are going to add some 
add some fun to the whole thing. Interesting. <laughs> Them's a lot of creatures. Yep. Them's a lot of trampling. And creatures. you can't put a rest tick out sure. that will be able to stop them before they get in one attack. Right. Because he just lost it to the yep. Bleaching Bite. So, gosh, if we get Revoke Existence, it's game over. Yeah. We, any, I mean, we just take out that artifact and it's game over. Well, he's probably got something else there, too. Helter oh, Assembly. Like, there's that. Well, yeah, but you know. always that. Okay. Um. If we attack with everything, and he blocks our forger, right? We would do eight damage. We would have him down to six. <laughs> okay, so here's a stupid question. Yes. If we attack with our with both of our mall splicers, we're really low on time. Time. Okay, actually. Both of our mall splicers, get them killed on purpose, then we can use Remember the Fallen to pull both of them out of the graveyard and cast them again. Yes. That is potentially the play we'd want. I would almost argue for bringing back the Suture Priest, because if we do enough damage to him, whatever he puts out there kills him. That's oh, slow. you no, you are completely right. Yeah. As soon as he's gonna put five creatures right. into Oh okay. shit, you're right, dude. Yeah. Never mind. Okay. okay. Suture priest. <laughs> Never mind. I was wrong, Bob. That's <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> Here's you you got the play. Yeah. Yes, jump back in your hand. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Suit your praise for the win. Well, not quite, but real close. Nice, Bob. Well, hey, I'm having my moments. He's at the point where if he doesn't gain life, he can't play a single card. A single additional creature. He no. can't. He can't use that. Can't hat. put out another rustic. Can't put out a. And we have trample on all of our golems, and his guys are just one ones. Yeah. Right. I think it's over. Man, how, yeah. how did we lose so much time? Because we just talk all the time. Yeah. We're hashing out. Woo! Bob! Oh. Hey! Sutra Priest! Yeah, we're nicely <laughs> done. <laughs> now it's his turn to sit there and go, Ah, shit, what do I do now? Now he does have five cards. Good game. Yeah. All right. Well, well done, Bob. Boom! Your priest for the win. Okay. Gee, you would think, for a guy who doesn't know how summoning sickness works, you'd <laughs> think I uh, would be better at this game. No, I, I just was totally not thinking about the Thopter. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, 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 what, and once again, Thopter assembly sucks. Sucks. <laughs> I have never, I have never seen it used for any good effect for the person who played it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's worked wonders for the opponent. No, John, John and I had thought yeah. for assembly in one of our games. They fucked us over every single time. Yeah. We never saw it drop its babies. You saw five five, thinking he's gonna get five flyers. It's just you know, yeah. you know what? If we didn't have the option to get the suture priest back, we would have been fucked. Right. Yeah. So then the, the it would have been well, ten, it, ten except power that's in the not air necessarily and, true. Because our guys are all we we would have had two three three tramplers. He only had five. We were going to get one through. Right, but he Andy. still could have cast his Thopter Assembly a second time. Which can only block one, and we're attacking with, like, five creatures. Well, yeah. I mean, it yeah. was... In theory, what that guy really wanted to do, he really wanted to get his Thopter Assembly underneath his... <laughs> underneath his imprint. Because then he yeah. would just reap death. But it didn't work out that way, so yeah. fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> but please keep watching. You know, whoa, no, keep watching. Yes. But fuck you. 